All right, so you guys know how we love our women winemakers. Um, and this month we have the Cantina Marlena Sicile, I think is how you say it, um, out of Sicily, which is a perfect um, intro to orange wine. That's what I would, how I would describe this. So it's made with the uh, Graciano grape or Garganaga, if you've heard that. And I would say, well, let's just try it. So. It only has 13 hours of maceration, um, but it's still getting quite a bit of color extraction. And the nose, uh, I don't know if you guys are classically trained. Um, this one really, Garganaga normally does have a very specific uh, flavor profile. And so it's totally smells um, like what I would expect from it and almost like a bit, um, it's not petrol, but it's like, it's like something adjacent to petrol uh, that you get off of it almost like smelling waxy. I don't know if that makes sense, but like that's how I interpret it. So that's like the first thing I get off the nose and then I'm getting some of like the fruit characteristics. So uh, I would say it's more of like a, like a Meyer lemon than a, uh, like a, like a super zesty lemon. Yummy. So on the palate, it has like a bit of that honeyed quality, which normally either comes from aging or comes from uh, contact with the skin. It also has like a bit of like, let's say like pine on it. Like it's a little bit woodsy. Um, so really, I mean, I'm saying a lot more secondary and tertiary characteristics than I am fruit on this, though there is fruit there. Um, there was more of like an apple that came out for me on, uh, on the palate, more of like a like a, like a stewed apple. So it's not your normal Garganaga. It is a really great introduction to orange wine because it is, it does not taste like uh, a Garganaga normally would. It does smell like it, I would say. Um, but it doesn't have any scary tannin, maybe a tiny bit of phenolic bitterness, but nothing crazy. Um, so I would put this with fish pasta. I guess I'm just thinking it's Sicilian. So I'm thinking like, you know, like a pasta with like mussels and stuff in it because it has like this, like nice honey texture to it. And almost like a, like a, what's it called? Like things made out of flour, like a, like a breadiness to it a bit. Like uh, that makes me lean towards pasta, but you could also just do tinned fish um, so popular right now, 10 fish and orange wine. If you want to be cool person at the party, that's what you'll bring. No, but really, it would be really great with that. Um, yeah, it really just, you could also drink it by itself. It's delicious. It's light enough that it doesn't have to have something that goes with it. Uh, and if you are trying to get someone into orange wine, I would recommend you start with this one.